hairs interlocked, right? Small fingers and whatnot. But just prove this to yourself. Most people that interlock have a tendency to be a little inconsistent and hook the ball a little bit. No? You slice a little, do you? All right. Well, the point is, if everybody would just see for yourself, take the pinky and jam it all the way in, okay? And then close your hands. The right hand is usually set at an angle to the side because when it's jammed all the way in, now you have to make an effort to twist it over. Does that make sense? Yeah? So, and you can interlock, sure, if you just barely lace your fingers in and the hands are on top, but you can't get, you still have to make extra motions, right? So if, if you're here and the pinky just goes on top, then the hand can hinge naturally. And you can do this without a golf club when you're doing your hands like this again. Just barely put your pinky on top. Now, when you do put it on top like that, guess what you have? No tension, right? I mean, if I squeeze this, am I not squeezing the back of my hand, right? So tension makes the muscles go what? Slow. So if this is on top, now the hand can fit on top, all right? And then uh, what I like to say is God made this little lifeline right here to fit right on top of that thumb. So when you look down, can anybody see my left thumb? Nope. That means when I hinge correctly, my hand's in the right place. If you can see my thumb, that means the thumb is long, there's a gap, or my hand is in the wrong place this way. So you could always check that. Yeah? Okay. Enough boring stuff with the grip. Yay. All right. Now, we're going to get into what that body actually does do. Who here has been told you have to make a big body turn? You can raise your hands. Anything? Yep. Okay. Start the golf swing with your shoulder, maybe? Yeah. Okay. What actually happens is the body only moves between three to four inches on the backswing. I know. You're like, what? No matter how good or how bad you think you are, and I've seen people tell me that they haven't played golf for forever and they have this problem and that problem and I've never seen it. Okay. Basically, it does one of two things. The leg will either go back and straighten. Where's my weight? Left leg. Everybody agree? Okay. I mean, if I'm standing here talking to you and my knee goes down to the ground, it's where? It's left my left leg. Okay. So if the leg twists this way. The other one is... And this is the better player mistake, is the hip goes out, but where's my spine lead? Okay, so at the top of my golf swing, my body will have to what? Turn some. So I'll have a person that says my weight's on my right leg, but my, sp but my spine tilts. So either it goes backwards this way or that way. That's easy. So I'm going to put my finger and show you exactly what the body does do, and we're going to get into a lot of detail about this, is if I put my little pinky, I'm going to take it out. Okay, there's my little belly button. All right. And I'm going to take it right here. Now, my whole body will move between one, two, three, maybe four. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? So all you guys are trying to turn, I'm going to keep going now, okay? I'm going to keep turning. Where's my weight going? What happened to my leg? Okay, it doesn't feel good on my meniscus, but what, <laughs> where is it going? It's going to go to the left. So if you're trying to make a big turn, you're going to have a reverse pivot, which means your weight's going to be on your left leg at the top of your golf swing. Okay. The number one thing I see besides a very bad grip is that, in the show of hands, how many people have been told to keep their heads still? Every single one of you. Okay. And we've been playing golf for, what, 30, 40, 20 years at least? Okay, so the reason why who here has had golf lessons and gotten worse? You're not going to offend me, absolutely. And that's where we fail as teachers, right? Because you have a core motion that's very bad, and we try to stick a Band-Aid over it, and you've been playing golf for 20, 30, 40 years. It's like a fingerprint, right? If you see somebody 150 yards away, I mean, and you see the person swing, you know, hey, that's Mary Ann, right? Can anybody do that? Yeah, absolutely. So what I have to do now is I have to, like, reset you to zero, if I use computer talk. So the head actually...